Hello everyone and welcome to Nami Chef. Today we're going to make pasta bolognese inspired by Italian-born cookbook writer, an absolute legend, Marcella Hazan. So here are the ingredients. For pasta with bolognese sauce, serving two to four people depending on how hungry you are. Two tablespoons vegetable oil, eight tablespoons of unsalted butter, one cup chopped onion, one and one third cup chopped celery, one and one third cup chopped carrot, one pound ground chuck. We're using chuck because it's fatty. Half a pound ground pork. I didn't have any ground pork, but I did have some thinly sliced pork belly, so I used that and I thought it turned out really well. Eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Salt and pepper to taste. Two cups whole milk. Two cups dry white wine. As usual, this cheap stuff works. Uh, one 28-ounce can of San Marzano tomatoes crushed by hand. Freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, and then a pound of pasta. In this case, I used fettuccine. So here are our ingredients in living color. So let's start cooking. First thing we're going to do is heat the oil, and then melt our butter. And then once that's melted, I'm going to throw in my onion. Stir that up, soften them. Here comes the carrots. Celery. So I'm going to, of course, stir, combine, soften. Now, those are starting to soften a little bit. Let me go ahead and add my pork belly. So that sliced pork belly, I cut it into ribbons. And here is my ground chuck. I'm using chuck because it's, as mentioned, it's fatty. <laughs> okay, let's combine all of that. We're gonna add some salt. This will draw the, some of the moisture out of all the ingredients. Starting to combine everything. See everything is getting mixed together. Now here, we're going to add our whole milk. So two cups of whole milk into the pot. Stir everything up. And we're just gonna go ahead and cook that until the milk is completely absorbed by the ingredients. And there's my pepper. Seed. Everything's getting combined. It's starting to thicken a little bit. All the meat is starting to break down. The milk is now at a simmer. Actually, I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. To slow down that, uh, that, that simmer. All right, so now we're going to see that the milk has been completely absorbed by the ingredients. Everything is nice and thick. So at this point, we're going to add white wine. As usual, uh, in an inexpensive white wine, we just want the acidity. So now the same principle, we're going to put the white wine in, add some nutmeg. Stir everything up until the white wine is absorbed. See that white wine starting to disappear, it's thickening. So now, here come my tomatoes. You're supposed to crush them with your hand. As you can see, I didn't. <laughs> so I'm gonna crush them, but now it's pretty hot. Uh, just remember, when you do this at home, crush your tomatoes before you put them in. So, I brought out my potato masher, and you can see I was able to get everything nice and uh, crushed. So now, it's really, we're just gonna cook this for quite some time, actually three hours. If things start to stick, uh, then you can add water to it. The water will be absorbed. And while you're cooking, you can also um, scrape off any fat that's beginning to accumulate at the top. So here's my pasta, my fettuccine, cooked according to the package. 
I'm going to add it in a big bowl with my sauce. And now it is time to combine. You can see it's beautifully coated with my uh, bolognese sauce. And let's go ahead and plate. A nice, thick, beautiful bolognese sauce. Of course, we always want to add extra cheese. And that is the dish. Pasta alla bolognese, inspired by Marcello Azan. And always remember, with the right ingredients and extra help when you need it, you're already one of the best chefs that you know. Thank you very much. Nami Chef.